We're here today at the San Leandro Marina, and our mission of the day is to respond to a simulated aircraft down on the approach to the Oakland airport. Why this is important is we are exercising a multi-agency response and approach to an incident of this size. We're doing this in conjunction with the Oakland Airport, the United States Coast Guard, uh, a number of fire agencies and law enforcement agencies from around the Bay Area. And our goal really is to test the, the process and the mechanism. We're less about the tasks out on the water and we're more about understanding and practicing how we as a response organization Bay Area wide would respond to an incident like this. At Oakland International Airport we do have a aviation emergency plan in place. It's very important to us to keep on a timely schedule to rehearse and practice the plan. Today we are particularly interested in the water rescue aspect of our emergency plan and preparedness. So we're gathered today to work with all of the various agencies that are involved with this water rescue piece of our emergency plan. You got Fremont coming up there. They're going to transfer incident management team personnel to your boat and start using it as a command post. Take care of that for you. You're good. All right, guys, casting off. As part of this drill, we've also uh, included another valuable asset when it comes to command and control. It's called the East Bay Incident Management Team, and it's a team of uh, fire professionals from both Contra Costa and Alameda County. And on large incidents like this, or an earthquake or large fires, the East Bay Incident Management Team can be activated. They respond as a group and can assist with functions like logistics, planning, uh, communications, finance, and uh, really is a great asset for local agencies who uh, need command and control of large-scale incidents. Our team is a combination of Contra Costa County and Alameda County, so it's also a regional incident management team, and we get to exercise as a team a few times a year. So this came up as an ideal opportunity to be able to get together, train as a team, embed ourselves in the initial attack of this incident, and work alongside the incident commander to see what his needs are gonna be for the day, and then get our people in position to support the positions that are already addressed for the simulated exercise. I think the drill went really well. I uh, know how it is when, when responders have to take time and assess stuff. I know a lot of the people who are playing victims are like, why aren't they here? Or why are they all sitting out there? Or what are they doing? Well, they're figuring out what to do. You can't just rush in with no plan. You have to have a plan. And so that was when radio contact was going in. They were assessing the damage, who, how many people were in the water, that kind of thing, before they actually deployed and did anything. So I thought it went really well. Uh, as most people know, we've had experience with this recently with the uh, Asiana airliner at the San Francisco airport. And it's a very timely exercise, and I believe it also is uh, a great way for us to come together and practice as a team. And the team means not just one or two agencies, but the entire response mechanism across the Bay Area.